All right, let's take a closer look at this brand new Esheen Chaser 88. This FPV racing drone uses these 1103 10,000 kV brushless motors. And if you're racing under 100 millimeters, this thing actually has some really nice performance. When I was out flying it with the stock camera, I had some static issues, but I could really tell this thing really could perform. So we put on the Esheen MC01 all-in-one FPV camera getting a lot better range with this. We of course had to flip the uh, camera mount around backwards, but that's not really a big deal. We did put a little bit of a uh, 3D printed material here around the antenna to uh, help hold it in place whenever we run into trees. And I have to say this little protective bar is an amazing little protective bar. It really does its job. It's made of metal. It absorbs the impact and deforms whenever it runs into something really hard. It does a really good job protecting your camera. But when it comes to flight, this thing really has some serious performance. It's got some serious speed. It really handles sharp turns really well. Um, it's very nimble, very easy to fly. And altogether, I have to say, durability-wise, it's extremely durable and was able to handle running into a number of trees. The only thing that um, I really dented up were the uh, blades a little bit. There isn't much clearance here with the blades, so if they get bent down, they might run into things. And you got to be careful with your receiver placement that it doesn't get in the way of the uh, propellers. But Altogether, I have to say, this thing really does perform really well. It's a full-fledged racer. You can go full speed with this thing, do some good, sharp, hardcore turns. I didn't get it up to full throttle, but I got it going pretty fast. The 450 milliamp battery doesn't give us the longest flight times in the world. I would like a slightly higher milliamp uh, battery on here. But power-wise, it seems to have all the power it needs. It's a really good, sharp, turning aircraft. It's very tiny. So if you're racing aircraft that are under 100 millimeters, this is a great FPV racer for you. It's got some serious power. Altogether, our flight time was about five to seven minutes, depending on how hard we pushed it. If we pushed it full throttle, the full flight, uh, we would get about four, four and a half minutes worth of flight. With lazy flight, we were getting maybe about six or seven minutes worth of flight. So it's pretty impressive considering it's got four brushless motors and an all-in-one video transmitter and uh, four speed controllers all drawing power all off this little tiny 7.4 volt battery. So I was pretty impressed with its performance. I'm pretty impressed with its durability. Um, it's nicely programmed. It's got some good turns. It's... Uh, it's able to uh, maintain its altitude on a hard, sharp turn so you don't find yourself launching up into the air on those sharp turns. It's a lot of fun to fly. Um, the upgrade on the camera was not very difficult to do. I just soldered a uh, connector onto the positive and negative power connectors and just plugged the uh, camera in. So it's a pretty easy upgrade to do. And I think this thing could probably carry the Esheen MC02, but I'll probably have to solder a boost module on to get it to power that thing up. But definitely worth checking out. Definitely worth the price. Nice little tiny racer. Maybe not the fastest racer in the world, but if you're racing things that are under 100 millimeters, I think this thing is definitely a good choice. It turns nice. It's got good speed, good power. Worth checking out. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in to RC101 with the Dallas Flyer. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and stay tuned for more.